Okay, so we're going to get started. Let me log in here. Uh, we're going to synchronize and set up to build Lineage OS Marshmallow. So let's get our terminal. Uh, we're going to pin this by locking it to the launcher um, so we can get back to it. You see we have nothing on here. This is one of our virtual boxes that's empty. And um, let's go get some uh, let's go get some source code to play with here. So first, let's go up to the AOSP getting getting the source so we can uh, get the guide for setting up our system. We've done this in previous videos. I just want to go back over it real quick. Um, you know, we need to establish that build environment. Um, and get things set up. Now, we don't need OpenJDK 8 for this. We're going to need 7 because we're building Marshmallow. So we're building for the uh, Ubuntu 14.04. Let's grab this right here. Maybe. There we go. Let's get that installed. Let's say dash Y or yes. Say yes to any questions. Go ahead and do it. I want to install it. That's why I typed it in. And while that's working, we're going to uh, look at a couple things here. Uh, again, if you need more explanation or definition of what we're doing here, please see my previous videos uh, on building custom ROM uh, the playlist there, either on YouTube or in the um, course repository there. So we're building Android 6 Marshmallow on 14.04. That's what's recommended here. That's why we're going to use it. Uh, JDK, we need uh, Android 6.0 Marshmallow Open JDK 7 and not 8. So keep that in mind. It's going to take this a minute to download here. We'll jump over to uh, GitHub, go to Lineage OS, and we're going to get that platform manifest. Um, again, if you need some more explanation or help with why we're doing this, please go back and see my previous video set uh, for for these. But uh, we're kind of we're kind of working on something a little more advanced this time around, and. Let's see, platform, I don't see the manifest here. Let's go with uh, manifest, nothing. Hmm. All right, oh, here we go. So we go uh, in there, they call it Android, and it's their platform manifest, and here we go. Most custom ROMs name it a platform manifest or manifest, so that way you know where it is. So this is, uh, let's see, 15.1, and we're gonna go back to 13, which is Marshmallow, maybe. Let's see, click on branches here since that wasn't working. Let's go to 13.0. There we go. So this is what we want. Here's our repo init instructions. We just go ahead and get ready to use that. Let's see how we're doing here. All right, so we installed all of that. We're going to app get install open JDK 7 JDK. Um, oh, helps if I run a sudo as the super user. Uh, once again, if you need more instructions and, and knowledge on what we're doing here, please see my previous videos. We're just kind of stepping through this so we can get to really what we, what we want to start working on here. Um, 
go back to downloading the source where we have our instructions for installing repo. Open a new terminal here. We're going to make sure bin. We're going to um, curl to get our repo tool. Just double click here. Then we can center click, paste it. It's going to go download that, put it into the bin repo. And we need to chmod a plus x to make it executable. I'd like to read it and execute it. Bin repo. Okay, there we go. Um, need more help with that? Please see the previous videos. And now, if we ls lah, we can see all of our hidden files. We have this bash rc file. Now, before we were typing in that bin path. Let's nano this bash rc file. And before we were typing in that, that bin path and we were, it only worked while that terminal was open. If we close the terminal, then the, that bin path would go away. But if we add this path bin path uh, block here to our bash rc file, and we save that, and then we source it with this dot, dot bash rc, then now that will be permanent. All right, so repo is now available for us to use. So let's see how we're doing here. Uh, let's well, let's make a directory for us to put our lineage into. Call it make your lineage OS marshmallow. Or maybe Marshmallow make it easier to read. And let's get into that directory. And we'll copy and paste this here. Repo init. So we're initializing our repository for all the source code for CyanogenMod 13.0 for Marshmallow. And we should get an error. Yep, there we go. So of course we need to add ourselves who, you know, we need to tell them who we are. So we add this line, double click and paste it, or you can type it, doesn't really matter. There we go. So we've made our email you example and our name, your name. And now if we run that again, now it works. So we say yes. So we have synchronized that. And now let's get all that source code. So we're going to repo sync. And uh, I have slow internet, so I'm going to use a J2. Need more help with that? Please see my previous videos uh, on repo sync. It explains that a lot better. So we're going to let that uh, run through. Um, let's check our. Java version here, 1.7, good to go. And uh, once this is done uh, syncing, oh, you know what? Let's let's app get install uh, schedule because we always seem to need that. We've seen that error a lot while we're building, so let's grab that now. All right, we'll check back in when this is done.